At the moment, season three of the popular Netflix series You is being watched by viewers around the globe. While the main serial killer character Joe moved to a posh neighborhood with his wife Love and their newborn baby on the show, in reality the actor who portrays him, Penn Badgley, lives in New York City. He and his real life wife just snagged a charming apartment in the Park Slope neighborhood of Brooklyn for $1.8 million and today we're gonna check it out. We even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Penn Badgley is an actor best known for his role as Dan Humphrey on Gossip Girl, and more recently for starring as Joe Goldberg on the hit Netflix show You. At the time of this recording, it's estimated that Penn's net worth is at about $8 million or more. While he doesn't live in a fancy Bay Area suburb like he does on the series, in real life, he has in fact purchased a million dollar plus apartment in Brooklyn. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment. This one looking at where Penn Badgley calls home, including his new apartment in the city. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. While this apartment may not look super impressive by celebrity standards, the impressive thing about New York City is simply being able to afford anything here. Not to mention, Penn's new crib is actually quite spacious. At the start of November 2021, it was reported that the actor just purchased a charming apartment in the Brooklyn neighborhood of Park Slope, which is family friendly and close to all of the action. Penn and his wife, Domino Kirk, shelled out more than $1.8 million and 100 k over the asking price for this apartment, which is a desirable corner unit full of natural lights and a welcoming vibe. Penn's serial killer character on You, Joe, and his equally serial killer wife, Love, uprooted to a suburban dream neighborhood in San Francisco for season three of the show. So I guess it makes sense that in reality, the actor wanted a change of scenery too. His apartment is situated on the fifth floor of a building built back in 1936, which was designed by architect Martin N. Weinstein, which is often called the Art Deco building. Penn's new home has a pretty spacious floor plan, spanning 1,214 square feet with three bedrooms and two bathrooms throughout. The apartment is quite inviting and doesn't exactly scream serial killer vibes. There are parquet floors throughout the unit and a total of seven windows boasting treetop views in three directions. Upon entering the roomy foyer, the apartment flows into the main living spaces. There's an east and south facing living room with original built-in decoration, as well as a nearby dining nook. The galley style kitchen is quite compact, but offers a window and enough space to food prep, not to mention it was renovated with quartzite stone counters and good quality stainless steel appliances. Penn's new master suite is modestly sized and offers a large window along with his and hers closets. The ensuite was recently updated and modernized, now featuring an enclosed glass tub. The second bedroom was being used as a study guest room and offers both a closet and a built-in wall unit. Meanwhile, the bright windowed third bedroom is a flexible space that could be kept as sleeping quarters or transformed into a home office, maybe even both. The listing advertised Penn's apartment as move-in ready with painted walls and all rooms completed. The attended elevator building comes with over 2.3K per month in maintenance fees, but we know that Penn can afford it. I mean, he was the second highest paid actor on all of Gossip Girl. These fees pay for the amenities, which include a 24-hour doorman, more than one landscaped courtyard, and a children's playroom, which can be booked for special events as well. Not to mention, the Art Deco style lobby is sure to impress right when you walk in the building. The residence has an ideal location, considering Penn is just one block or so from the stunning 526-acre Prospect Park, as well as popular shopping and dining on 7th Avenue. Back in 2019, Penn and his wife sold their former loft in the Williamsburg neighborhood of Brooklyn, New York City for $2.15 million. Honestly, this place seems nicer and more spacious than the new place, so I'm definitely curious as why the couple sold it. This loft style apartment was located in the Mill Building, a historic conversion with luxury details and features like high ceilings in the units. Amenities included a full-time doorman, an incredible rooftop terrace with views of Manhattan. 
Not to mention, the prime location had easy access to the ferry and shops like Whole Foods, Apple, and more, all within walking distance. Before Penn listed the apartment for sale, the couple had it listed as a rental in 2018 briefly for $8,500 per month. That price isn't too surprising though, as the unit was large and had the ideal combination of history and character mixed with modern design. The spacious gallery-like loft spanned almost 2,000 square feet of space along with three bedrooms and two baths. Penn's former home was designed to highlight the classic details while offering all the modern day upgrades. Some of these original features included restored plank hardwood flooring underfoot, as well as exposed wood beams and columns and oversized windows. There are also original 13-foot ceilings throughout the apartment. This sprawling main living area combined a family room with built-in shelves and a pair of sunny windows, while the space also had room for a large dining area on one side. The bookshelves and small desk on the one wall blend seamlessly into the exposed beams. No doubt that this open plan layout gave ample space for entertaining and unwinding. Nearby, Penn's former chef's kitchen was much bigger than his new one, offering sub-zero appliances, plenty of counter space, a massive stainless steel fridge, and an oversized pantry. Elsewhere in the unit, there were two equally sized guest bedrooms, one of which Penn and his wife used as a home office while living here, and the other kept as sleeping quarters. This separate master suite had features like a walk-in closet and a luxury bathroom complete with walk-in shower, his and hers vanities, and a massive soaking tub. All of those features were topped off with additional storage space as the laundry room doubled as an oversized utility room with more storage. All right, so that brings us to the end of our Penn Badgley house tour. We looked at the new Brooklyn apartment he and his wife just moved into in the Park Slope neighborhood, as well as their loft style unit they sold back in 2019. Out of the two spots, which did you prefer? I honestly preferred their former one because I liked the historic details like all of the wood beams in the high ceilings. I also found that that apartment had a better floor plan for some reason. Either way, let me know what you liked or didn't like about the actors' New York homes down in the comment section because I love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to chat, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!